Hello, and welcome to the Gojin Podcast. Today is some day in February. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18th, it must be, um, because Wednesday was Valentine's Day. And so, um, no, how did you guess? No, I did not stay up all night styling my hair. It's long and shaggy and it needs a cut, but I'm kind of liking it. It's been a long time since I've let my hair grow this long. But anyway, is that why y'all are here to listen to me wander on about my hair? No. So anyway, how are y'all doing? This is the Go Gen podcast and I'll have to check and see what episode it is because I am only recently coming back to the human world. I have been living in an alternate universe uh, called flu. Yes, I had my flu shot. I think that maybe I got through it milder than some other people. You know, I've heard stories of people being out of work for weeks. I was out three days. Um... It hit me on a Thursday, and then Friday is when I was my sickest. I had the, I had fever and chills, and I was just out of my mind sick that day, and then that was Friday that I lost, and then Saturday, I slowly started coming back, and then feeling better from there on. So I only had one day of absolutely horrible, I've been transported to some alternate reality in which life sucks. But anyway, how are y'all? I hope you're staying well. Yes, I had my flu shot. Um, No, I did not take the Tamiflu because by the time I was coherent enough to take that, I was on the other side of it. And you're supposed to take that Tamiflu within 12 to 18 hours of your first symptoms. And I was uh, pretty much unconscious. <laughs> so anyway, um, my daughter, who is a nursing manager with her master's degree in nursing, so I believe her when she tells me to eat, drink, and cough and to cough up everything so there's nothing there to get infected and lead to a little old lady like me getting pneumonia. I don't want pneumonia, so I did what she told me to. Every time I'd get up to go to the bathroom, I'd drink a cup of water and try to cough up anything I that wasn't, you know, sewn down or hooked in. So, um, so that was so much for my February, wasn't it? Um, the one thing I have realized about the flu is that you get exhausted. And just because I seem to be over the symptoms, you know, I don't have a cough, a lingering anything, I have lingering exhaustion. I come home from uh, work. I went back to work this week on Wednesday, so I worked three days. And I really came home and went to bed. So I did not get very much of anything accomplished crafting-wise, but I do want to show you um, a little bit more of a close-up on my sock that I finished since I did post the video of my OWL 50%. Um, The OWL is the big three-month project for the uh, Ravelry Harry Potter knitting and crochet house cup game. So there's no actual owl. Hello. My sister was trying to find half of an owl somewhere and it is no. At any rate, hold on and I'll, we're going to take a look at this uh, sock. Okay, so you can see here is the toe that I uh, did on my sock. It is, of course, the toe and the heel are in black, so it's hard to see, but it worked out pretty well. 
um, back up this way. This is the foot of the sock. Here is the heel that, um, again, it's in black, so you can't see it very well, but it's a nice, deep heel pocket. Um, and it really went pretty quickly. It took me about a day to do the heel. I had a little piece of paper with all the um, notes on it, you know, like the increases and the decreases, then, you know, knit one, to, knit two together and that kind of thing. Knit one together, it's probably just what you call knitting. Um, and so the heel just went in right there and did not disrupt the pattern of the sock. That's the uh, one of the big benefits of the afterthought heel in an alternating color or contrasting or whatever. But you see the sock just went on around where the heel was. Went on and finished it up and then came back and put that heel in. And it was, the hardest part was picking up stitches um, around where I had the waist yarn because I think I missed a stitch or two and then, oh no, it was a mess. So also as part of my yarn, uh, no, as my part of my owl, I needed to start owl number two. And I made that part of the 50% so that I wouldn't just finish sock one and that was that. I wanted to make sure that I got started. And I kind of want to knock wood. Can you see how pretty this is? I don't have. I know you say this stuff and then you it bites you, but I don't I don't have holes. I've just been knitting. I think I was just so glad to be knitting not black <laughs> and just around and around, no increases or decreases. And it's going uh, really well. So after I get this to five inches is when I put in my afterthought heel for this sock. So this really is, there I am. Uh, these are not, I did not make them to be matchy-matchy, but they're close. And so when I get down this much further, I'll put in the afterthought heel for the second sock. I'm really pleased with it. It's, uh, it truly, truly makes me happy. Yay, Christmas presents in February. And here are uh, some of the things that I have done for art, for um, either swaps or just to make the art a day thing. This is a postcard. Came in a pack of postcards and you color them. That's really fun. That's available at Wal um, not Walmart, Amazon. Um, one of the themes I had to match in was purple. And I had a really good time with this artist trading card. I just did the watercolor wash over it and then I just kinda put a face in so that, uh, you know, what's going on? It's kind of like looking at clouds and do you see the pig flying in the clouds? Then I did two down here, which are um, where I did the circles in watercolor. And then I just filled them in with Zentangles. Sorry, it wants to slide off. There you go. And this one was just purple. Uh, like a chrysanthemum, I thought, and so I like that one too. That's just some of my regular art fun. All right, hold on for more. One of the questions I'm asked is, what do you do when you um, mess up a couple days in your bullet journal? Um, and like I was sick for several days and just didn't have the brain capabilities for a bullet journal or planning or any of the above. So here you just see where I had the flu. It's just flu, flu. I had a little sticker that said sick day, flu. Um, looking back, I'll know that I was sick with the flu those days and I didn't get much of anything done. On my tracker, 
flu, flu. But then you pick up, when you pick up, if you, uh, ever how many days you miss, you just, you know, do whatever you can. Um, I did real well with going to bed early. <laughs> That's about all I did really well with, um, was sleeping and trying to get my rest, to get my strength back up because it was just gone. Um, over here, this is my crafting list, and you'll see that's where I finished sock number one. And here's sock number two that's got about three inches of sock in it. And I finished my sock yarn blanket and did the two borders. And this is where I stand on the granny square blanket. And which I have until the end of March to finish the granny square blanket and sock number two. I think I can do it. Here's where I've been trying to track my swaps. And I didn't even sign up. Um, there's a, this postcard swap where I color in the postcards. I do that one every time. But I missed the sign up for it. So no no big deal. Just I just wrote a note. No sign up for that swap just to let me know whether I was sick or whatever. There's my dream log going upside down. And my vlebuary, which I don't know how we're going to do that from now on. Today's Sunday, and I'm taking it one day at a time. Old podcast notes and an old bullet journal notes. And pretty much what I have done, you know, here's where I did the, the bullet journal for the days. Well, I didn't know I was going to be sick, but I just came through and I X those days out. I didn't do anything that required planning. I got up and was happy when I made it to the bathroom. <laughs> this was just a, st a sticker I had that said, you're foxy. And I just put these little Valentine's hearts. And here's where I was just doing my regular uh, bullet journal and planning and diary or whatever, not knowing that the dreaded flu was about to attack. And then... Here you go. Friday was lost to the flu. In bed all day. And that was the ninth. Um, and so, some of this is how did I get better from the flu. This is the day I did my 50% owl check-in. I was very happy about that. I was back at work by then. And then this is my latest bullet journal page. And I have my things to check off here, just like every day. Um, the worst thing with the flu is getting over it. I'm, I am still tired. But I've been having fun. I went back and put some washi tape in this. So if you look at these two pages, it's just journaling. And it was nothing uh, with but the date stickers. But then I had this little narrow washi, and so I used that to divide the days. And that makes it pretty, and it makes it uh, easily divided up. And boy, does that make me happy. So here's where I am in my bullet journal today. I got some pretty washi, colorful hearts down the side, and I've put some hearts on this page. And I'm just ready to go um, whenever I get there. Okay, last, and yes, this is least. This is not a shark. It is a thumbless mitten. I decided uh, I needed a new pair of mittens, so I decided to crochet them because I crochet faster than I knit. But let me say, um, for a fast and easy pattern, free on Ravelry, um, I... I really do not like these mittens, or mitten, this A mitten. I haven't made but one. This has taken almost an entire skein of Vanna's Choice acrylic yarn. What? That's because it is the bulletproof stitch in crochet, which is the single crochet. They, these, this mitten is pretty much inflexible. You know, this is kind of what 
people who knit say is so wrong with crochet. I have to agree. Um, I'm not happy with this. It's all it calls for all single crochet, but Lord, I was tired of it by the time I got to right about here. You can tell I switched over to half double crochet. I'm going to try to finish another mitten out of this. I like a crochet rib where you, um, this is single crochet in the back loop, which makes a good rib, but good day. Yes, it's very stretchy, very elastic. Yay. This is not. It's, I swear, Kevlar. I'm not happy with it. I don't like it, but it's a mitten. And I wanted a new pair of mittens. So I'm going to try to make the other one. So um, I will have, you need to submit at least one class to Harry Potter Knitting and Crochet to maintain your sorting priority, you know, for each term. So I think I'm just going to make the cuff. Then I'm going to start with the half double crochet. It goes so much faster um, as far as length. And I wanted, I just, this calls, the pattern has the little cap to the, you know, you put the top on the thumb. But I decided I wanted to leave it off for now. Um, so I can use my phone if I want to. And yes, it doesn't help any that I have such a big hand. I do have a really big hand for a woman, but still, this thing is enormous. It looks like a shark. And I'm not, I'm not in love with it, but it is what it is. We'll see. And if I don't have enough yarn left, well, that's just too bad. It'll be whatever it is. We'll see. All right, folks, that is all that I have. And, and it was a bunch of different stuff. And so I think that's, that's about it. I'm going to do some more coloring this afternoon. And I might try to get this other mitten done. I also have the granny square afghan to um, finish. And I need to make 14 quarter square granny squares and then um, combine those into one big block and then put all the blocks together. So I will say this is a gorgeous color green. This is Vanna's Choice Kelly Green. My word, what a beautiful color. Beautiful. But, ugh, yuck. Okay. I will see you when I see you. I'm not sure what my schedule is going to be. Um, I don't. I don't know if I'm going to try to finish February, or what I'm going to do. Um, my husband and I were planning our first camping trip, yay! Which is going to be about the middle of March. So we're really excited about that. And until I see you next time, whenever that may be, I wish you nothing but love and laughter. <laughs>